Hi, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of Aptillo's Venue Wi-Fi Manager GUI. So this GUI is actually used by the venues themselves to be able to log into the system and see the amount of traffic going through the venues and also control the captive portal. So you can see in this interface, this is the analytics view. We have two different tabs defined and you can have as many tabs as you like. One is defined for Saxon Telecom, which gives an overall view of the system from the operator's perspective. And the other is Bean & Boost, which is a fictitious coffee shop, so an, an actual venue on the system. And this has been set up with various different types of data. So here for the operator, you can see we can look at the amount of downloaded data. We can look at the number of sessions. We can even look at things like the different types of devices coming through the system. And this is from a system as a whole. And these graphs are kind of nice. You, you can look at the different data points on the graph. You can even then select parts of it and zoom in to particular parts of information that you're, you're interested in seeing. So the other tab shows Bean and Boost. And here we have a captive portal system that's using uh, Facebook login, for example. So we have demographic information about the users. And then what you can do is you can combine the system data with the demographic data coming from Facebook and get statistics like the downloaded data by age range. And here we see the number of sessions again, but this is particularly for this venue. And the other nice thing about this is it's completely configurable. So instead of the operator to defining what the venues can see, the venues can actually go in and they can select the types of reports that they're interested in for their particular venue type. So here you can see some predefined reports that the operator has defined, and we can select uh, visitors by gen gender for as, as an example. We then go into the system and because I'm an administrator, I can see the entire zone tree. So the zone tree is the, the structure of the businesses or the structure of the venues on the system. So I can say I want to see this for Bean and Boost as a whole, for example. And the nice thing about this is the, the administrators of the venues themselves are linked into this zone tree too. So when you generate an administrator account, you're able to attach them into the correct place in the zone tree. And they'll be able to control the venue and control the captive portal from that point down and downwards in the, in the tree itself. So this is a nice structure that kind of links together the locations with all the different administrators and statistics and analytics that go around those venues. So once we've actually selected this, we can then save that and the system will generate that new graph immediately. So you can see this is already available now, the visitors by gender. The other half of this is the captive portal management itself. So one of the things that venues want to do all the time is be able to play with their captive portals. So they want to be able to go in change the content of the captive portals, um, update a menu, change their opening and closing times. If they're a stadium, they may want to be able to put up information about different events that are going on. So to allow them to do that without having to be web ex experts, what we've done is we've generated what we call a template system where the template defines the overall uh, flow of the portal and also controls things like, you know, what does it look like on big and small screen devices. But it also contains a collection of editable regions that allows the, the venue owner themselves to go in and, and change these regions at will. So this is very much de uh, designed for the non-technical user. So here you can see the desktop view, the tablet view, and the mobile view that gives you a good idea of what this is going to look like on different devices. So let's say we want to take this coffee shop uh, interface and turn it into a, a um, hotel interface. So the first thing that we can do is we can actually then load the captive portal and take a quick look at what it looks like right now. You can see we have a Bean and Boost logo and Bean and Boost text and also the, the background with nice coffee cups. And we have a couple of different ways to log into the system. So let's go back to the Venue Wi-Fi Manager GUI and then edit this. And what you can see here is immediately you get a preview and the preview at the moment is of the desktop. You can switch that to a tablet view. You can rotate that portrait and landscape to see what it's going to look like on these device types. And you can also look at it on these uh, smartphone device as well. So the idea of this is to give the, the venue owner quick and simple information about what the portal looks like and whether the changes that they're making are appropriate for the different types of devices. And of course, if you're a more mobile orientated um, venue, you're going to be more interested in looking at smartphone devices. If you're a cafe where you've got a lot of people coming in and, and working, you're going to be more interested in the laptop. So this provides all of those previews for you. So what you can then do is you can then choose one of the elements that you want to change in it. And in this particular setup, I'm pulling these from the hard drive of the laptop. But you can also have a library of images as well predefined on the system. So we can select a different media. Here I can select a uh, hotel as an example, change the background. And the other elements that you can edit are things like the, the main logo. So we'll just change that. And there can be other minor graphical elements as well. So now you can see that's updated and I'm immediately getting a preview of what that looks like. And again, I can check what that 
what this uh, captive portal now looks like on different screen devices and uh, rotate that around. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that it still says Bean and Boost here, so we want to be able to change the title of this page. So the templates themselves have uh, the overall flow of the captive portal built into them. So it's not just a single page. It's actually a collection of pages for dealing with the landing, um, when you've logged in, if you have a problem with logging in and authentication showing error messages. So here we can see that we're looking at the common elements. So these different graphics that we've just changed are the same in every single page in, in the template. Down here, we actually have the different individual parts of the flow. So for example, if we want to change the login page and just change this header here, we can select this header and change it to uh, go green, for example, same name as the hotel. We can even actually change things like the, the button itself. So if we don't want it to say login, we want it to say sleep well, for example, you can just type that in and the system will update immediately and you can then see that as a preview. Once you're happy with the way this looks, you just simply apply the template and then you tell the system to update. And once you get the success portal updated, that new captive portal is now live. So we can just click on that and, and load the portal up. The other things that this system allows you to do is that you can see here that there's a couple of different ways of logging into the system and that's controllable through the GUI as well. So if we go back to the, the template that we were just looking at, our Glasgow portal here, in the middle here we have the modify options. And this enables us to be able to set different types of payment systems, different types of authentications. So as an example, we can turn off the, uh, the username and password login and just leave it as a free access system. So again, to do that, you just simply update the, the site. Once the system says the portal's updated, you're able to go in here. As soon as you reload, you can see that the username and password option has now disappeared from the, the, the captive portal. So really this makes it very, very simple for the venues to be able to manage the, the captive portal itself. It makes it very simple for the venues to be able to see how popular their services are and how popular they are versus demographics that they're getting back from various different social media sites as well. The other element that we have in here is the subscriber management as well. So the GUI also has the capability to allow you to see the subscribers that are logged in to be able to disconnect subscribers, look at the, the, the session traffic as well and various different types of configuration for the sites. So that's it for this quick demonstration of the Aptilo Venue Wi-Fi Manager GUI. I hope you found it interesting. If you'd like more information or a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us at Aptilo.